Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I do have in here is Disintegration, a game developed by the V1 Interactive and it is using Android Engine 4. So I did test the beta on the multiplayer back in the day when it was free, but now they decided to, you know, launch the game and the game not only includes the multiplayer but also includes the campaign mode. And so I decided to give it a try on the campaign mode because I thought that this could be interesting. Although, and unfortunately, I had to tweak a little bit the game in order to get a playable experience above 25 frames per second. Because despite this game, it is uh, developed with Unreal Engine 4. What happens really is that these guys didn't really made available on the graphical options some resolution scaling. So I had to go into the config file of the game and configure myself. Uh, some resolution scaling. So in case you want to configure the resolution scaling, go to the description of the video. That is there a quick explanation where you can find the file and what you need to change. Alright, but first let's now take a look at the regular settings without tweakings, for example. So I'm playing the game with 720p and I'm using Borderless to record. For you, for you I do recommend you to stick with full screen since it has uh, less input lag. As for the graphical settings, I'm using the low settings, but I'm, I decided to cap until using set UI. And I have a very good explanation for this, because median and low don't uh, use TAA. And uh, despite in some games it is fine to not use TAA, in this game it is actually horrible. Because as you can see, I'm going to put TAA on low and look at the damn grass. So pixels all over the place. Alright, no matter the resolution that you play, this is what you get without TAA. So I'm going to re-enable TAA by putting the anti-aliasing back to I, and what I get it is this. So perfect. So what happens really is that TAA it is not really expensive, it just consumes one to two frames per second. Unfortunately, the recording of this video um it has a great impact in the performance, but first, before talking results without recording, this is a requirement for the game, so these guys ask for an i5 from the 2000 generation, 8 gigs of RAM, and the GTX 570, so this is pretty steep requirements, alright? And with the graphical settings that I'm using at the moment, so low presets and TV using on i, 720p, and the tweak to put the game resolution into 75% of resolution scaling, what I got, it was a eh, mere acceptable average of 21, fr <clears throat> 21 frames per second and a 1% low of 25. So, yeah, it's kind of a passable frame rate. It is not really that important since it's a single player game and the game it is not really that fast paced at all. And honestly, despite this looks very blurry because of uh, TAA and uh, despite this is the low settings, I think the game actually looks okay, alright? I think the game really looks okay like this. It is not good, but it's not really that bad either and the frame rate it is quite playable. Also, about the game itself, I'm not really, you know, very surprised with the game. I mean... This game fails in two different ways. So first of all, the price. I decided to start with this one, which I usually cover last, but I think it's very important. These guys at the time of this video are asking for $49.99 for the game. And what happens really is that uh, I think that ma mainly the developers decided to focus on multiplayer, which, which if you check my beta gameplay, you will notice that this is some sort of a MOBA where you use these... Uh, cycles, gravity cycles, which can float in me there, and each one have its own class, blah blah blah, so that, in that regard, the multiplayer, it is actually not usually a great game, but it is a passable game, alright, it is, it could be a nice free-to-play game, if you ask me, but what happens really is that they are charging $49.99 for this game, and the multiplayer at the moment, it is completely dead, that is, Nobody playing the game. If you go to Steam forums, you can see a ton of people saying that the multiplayer on this dead or on this game it is dead on arrival. So, yeah, for 49.99, and the main focus of this game being the multiplayer, maybe this is not the greatest news in the world. Second thing, it is this this campaign, what it has to offer. So, 
Unfortunately, all the maps, according to some Steam reviews and from what I have seen throughout three levels that I did play, the levels are kind of nude, you know. I won't, I probably knew that is not the perfect uh, word for that, but there is nothing at all, you know. Everything seems a little bit off with the maps, alright? It doesn't have too much to offer. The enemies are very repetitive. And despite the conversation between characters and the cutscenes are just okay, they are just that. They are okay at best. So maps are not really good, uh, conversation between characters are okay-ish, cutscenes are okay-ish. You have an hub world which uh, you can talk with other characters and you can improve your own skills and the skills of the squad. Although that garage feels very empty, it seems like it has nothing to offer. Every it feels a great and big garage but there is nothing to do there. So. Everything about this game, it is empty. This is the correct word that I wanted to use it first. It, everything feels just empty and lifeless at all. I'm not really sure if they really wanted to to do that, to do a such empty world, but that's exactly what I have done. All right, and uh, but well, I think that's that's pretty much that. It is empty. It doesn't have too much soul. There is pretty much no music in background. It has nothing special to offer. And the multiplayer it is dead. And these guys are charging $49.99 for this. This is not a AAA title. This is pretty much a mid-tier title. This is the first project from V1 Interactive. This is their first game. And yet, they decide to charge $49.99. I think... I'm not saying that the game doesn't really worth some money. But clearly, $49.99, this is not really the... You know... The type of game... That deserves to be paid $49.99 for this game. So, in case you want to enjoy this game, I really think there is something in this game that can be enjoyed. Although this is nothing special, so it is not a game that a lot of people are desiring. And even people that were designing this game were a little bit eh, thinking about if it was worth it or not. And the reality it is that at its current price it is not. I would say that if you want to enjoy this game... Just buy it on a deep, 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 deep sale. Alright, when it is so cheap that you can't deny buying it. That's essentially that. Because at the moment, these guys don't offer any multiplayer at all. Because it is that. You just, you just have this campaign experience, alright, where everything feels empty. At least there is one thing that I think this game does great. It is the physics in each object. It is very destructible, so I think that's probably the only thing positive I have seen about the game. It is the physics on houses, churches, uh, fences, uh, any objects can be destroyed in multiple ways. And there is a ton of physics going on, and since I'm recording, the CPU is already very occupied with the recording and the game itself. But every time I destroy it, something in this recording, the CPU just gone plain dead. This doesn't really happen uh, when I'm recording, so without recording the CPU can handle it. But, uh, I mean, there is a lot of physics going on and they aren't really that demanding. So I think at least they they have done a good job in destructible uh, objects. But aside from that, there is nothing really spectacular about this. It is unique though, the graph cycles, it is a unique thing. But apart from that... It's just that. So, I think that's all that I want to talk about this game. I'm quite disappointed with what these guys had to offer, but that's about it. Alright, guys? So, thank you a lot for watching, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.
picking up distress calls from other outlaws in and around the houses ahead of you. So what's our response here? Help them out. Salvage the way. There may be captive outlaws ahead of you. We got this, Rezik. Got it. Getting fixed. Got it.